So the last thing we should do, if we can do, is add a conkey if you like that, of course. So this is the thing on the right here. We have our Aureola skeleton that we are looking at now and we can install that as well. Let's go ahead and fine tune this as well to have a complete desktop tuning project. Uh, when going to the internet, let's do it like this, open a new browser. Just type in GitHub and then Aureola Conkey. That's where it is. Oops, Aureola Conkey. Then you get a better hit. So this is the Conkeys where all the, the possible possibilities are. Look at the pictures. You hate it, skip it. You like it, install it. So what should you do? You should go up here and download the zip. Click, click, this can be gone, this can be gone, right mouse click, extract here. And you have here now the complete sets. So how many are there? 17 conkeys to choose from. But I suggest you do the following, instead of trying to figure out everything, just run this one again. Get Areola from GitHub to local drive and he will install everything on this on the proper place. So I'm gonna do right that just that. So get it's going to do exactly the same, downloading everything, but then he goes on. He finds all kinds of folders, which is great, and then he says uh, do you want me to copy everything to this hidden folder dot areola? You say yes, and that's it. Okay, done with that. So it's now on your system. Where is it? It's now here. Dot Areola in your home directory. You have this folder which is we just downloaded. The only thing we do, so this is looking at the skeleton. Let's install something else so you see the difference. Every folder is the same. You just run one element, and the element you have to run is called where is it? so many items here install conkey that's the one so open in the terminal install conkey just follow what he's saying are you sure you want to change the skeleton icon uh Aureola? yes don't get rid of it and put something else he wants to know my password because of dmi decode that one reads this here the motherboard and the mother manufacturer dmi decode can read this but it needs to be root, otherwise it won't function. So this is now the latest version, 178 from Aureola Acres. But as you can see, this orange and that red clash. Well, they don't clash, but we could change them. So back to JPEG. I'm not sure again what the color was. This was the cow. Copy paste this. Let's go to our config, which is in our hidden folder here so dot config conkey and here everything is inside if you are not on linux mint you change it so you can change that as well as an example so conkey conf scroll down find the red this looks to me like red and then control v save it and you'll see that it's beautiful great improvement and let's say like we really want to show off that we have not a Linux Mint, but we have, for instance, an Arch Linux. Save. How do I know? Because these names are all available. So if I wanted to show off that I have an Ubuntu, it would be the same like this and so on and so on and so on as you can see debian elementary fedora solus xfce etc this is actually an xfce so let's be correct xfce save and we can make a nice screenshot of that later on so this is let's say the final tuning uh, desktop tuning we have now the sadly flexible icons we changed we have the sardi mononumix colora which is this kind of icon that we've changed i do think we are at an end 
there might be other things to do smaller things but mainly um, this looks great and I'll be happy with this desktop thanks for watching